The river runs deep like the pounding of my heart. I alone run the river's course, a small boat floating on the river of life. This journey will be a treacherous one. The little boat seems hardly enough to wage the battle of my turmoiled soul. The river is cruel and unforgiving. It has no thought for good intention or misguided truth. The craft rises and falls among the mighty torrents of water that carry it down the path of uncertainty. I can see the wreckage of other vessels that have challenged the river alone. They lie wounded and broken along the shore like a fool's parade of broken humanity. The ground is stained with shattered dreams where love lie bleeding. My mind is cloudy like the waters on which I kneel. The sky is dark with the clouds of an approaching storm. The wind is cold and bites my skin with unrelenting pace. With each plunge downward, my small boat takes on water. I wonder if I shall sink in this little boat before I reach my destination. But what destination? I can't seem to remember. I feel like an old man whose memory has faded. The type of man that has lived beyond his years and now resides in the past. I comfort myself with memories of my youth. Looking to the past as a means of facing the future. Though I am not yet forty, I feel old. The river has made me old. I can see myself on a theater, on a stage. The spotlight is shining down on me. There are people, young people, who have come to hear the wisdom of this old man. The speech goes something like this. O oh, youth with eyes so open wide that yearn to see, look in this old man's heart and soul. Despair. The years no longer lie in front of me, but in the past, the life I live is there. Collecting wisdom all to you I give, but in your youth for me cannot receive lessons learned, mistakes through which I've lived. Yet, on your own, the trials will be conceived, and when some day you stand here, center stage, to relive your life for those who've come to hear, remember me, the words to you I gave, and proclaim them loud so maybe they can hear. But know the choice and every soul is made, for through the years your voice, like mine, will fade. If I had only made better choices, if I'd only been a little smarter, if only. But that makes no difference to the river. It has a mind of its own. It's beginning to rain. It's the kind of rain that falls in sheets, sometimes blinding, sometimes painful. The rain mixes with my tears. I can't help crying because I'm afraid. It's not just fear that makes me cry. It's loss of people and dreams I have left behind. There's a line from The Wizard of Oz that I will always remember. In convincing the Tin Man that his acts of love and courage were proof that he had a heart, the wizard said to him, A man is not judged by how much he loves, but how much he is loved by others. As the river carries me further away, I am haunted by the notion that my life has been worth nothing. Does anybody love me? Did any of my friends love me? If we understand love, will it not be evident to those in our lives who are close to us? Is it possible to go through life and not know the truth of love? Love is a word that is used so freely and sometimes without regard for the depth and honor it deserves. If I know anything, I know this. I have failed love, love has not failed me. Because I have failed love, 
It is the reason I feel so alone in this little boat. The river's rage is growing. The boat is half full of water. I fear it is only a matter of time until the boat sinks. If I could only make it to shore, I might have a chance. The wind is howling like a pack of wolves in the night. Pierces the soul of my inner being and runs through my ears like knives. Through the rain, I can see people standing on the shore. They are waving their arms in the air. The look of desperation and hopelessness on their faces. Their skin is like dead leaves in autumn. The clothes they wear are faded and torn. Their bodies look thin and ravaged. They appear to be screaming and yet no sound is coming from their mouth. One woman is holding a child. The little body resembles that of a rag doll that has been left outside and consumed by the elements. There is a man that looks to be 80 years old, though I believe he is much younger. His complexion is like a weather-worn seashell and his eyes are sunken and hollow. The woman holding the child is weeping uncontrollably. Her tears fall silently onto the faded polka dot dress she is wearing. I'm starting to wonder if they are alive or dead. They must be alive. What would cause them to look that way? Was it the years of exposure? Or was it this place? How long had they been stranded here? I wondered how many boats had passed them by. Boats like mine, half full of water and unable to help. As I pass by, I can see life in them wane. They realize I cannot save them from their well of sorrow. As they fade from my sight, I am left with the emptiness that I have never known. Like the sky, the darkness of this place hides all that is good. The current of the river is moving faster and the sharp rocks protrude from the murky waters. In the distance I can hear the roar of a mighty waterfall. My boat is nearly full. A great mist prevents me from seeing what lay in front of me. I can only imagine it must be a great and terrible fall. Perhaps this is why others have chanced making it to shore. The thought of falling into oblivion makes the chance worth taking. What if I can't make it to shore? What if the current is too strong? I could try for one of those rocks, but I might miss. I could stay with the boat and take my chances. Has life come down to this chance? What a choice. I could die in this boat or end up like the people on the shore, but I've got to decide because the falls are getting closer. The water has completely filled the boat. The water is freezing and my body is numb and I am exhausted. I must decide. There is a large rock about five feet away. It's my last chance. The sound of the water is deafening. My eyes are fixed on the rock. I feel like I'm in a tunnel. Nothing exists except the rock and me. With all that is within me, I jump. The river consume me as slam up against the mighty rock. I grab hold, but the current is starting to suck me down. I have no air. I can't breathe. And then everything goes black. In that moment, a thousand memories rush through my mind. I remember the times I sat on my dad's lap when I was little. The times my mom doctored my skinned knees and my elbows. Times my sister would sing me to sleep at night. The many pets I had loved and lost throughout the years. I remember the feeling of wonder I had seeing my children born. I remember looking into the eyes of a loved one. I remember when the Lord called me to be his own. My mind is filled with the familiar sounds and smells that have surrounded me in this life. Christmas trees, chocolate chip cookies, dogs barking, kids playing, choirs singing. And then, 
darkness.